E-mini S&Ps rally to end the week, trading back above 5150 for the first time in over a week and trading as high as we've seen since April 15th. So a big move higher in equities. All that starting after we had a weaker than expected non-farm payroll number this morning. And recall that the Fed chair mentioned that one reason the Fed would look to cut rates sooner than expected is if there was a weakening in the labor market. That was on Wednesday. Two days later, we get a weaker number from the labor market. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out moving forward. One number does not make a trend, but clearly the market was listening to what the Fed chair had to say on Wednesday. Also, we'll take a look back the first couple of weeks of April. Equities struggled moving to their recent lows, but since April 19th, E-minis are up over 4%, so quite a big move over the last several weeks higher, culminating in today's close higher, up, up, up 1% on the day and north of 5150. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, as you guessed it, equity volatility moves in the opposite direction typically, as does the indices. So as we saw indices rallying this week, we saw volatility moving lower. In fact, volatility at its lowest in several weeks as the equity markets continue to rally. Lastly, let's talk about what we have next week. It is a lighter economic calendar, so the market will be focusing on earnings. We'll also be focusing on the welcoming back of Fed speakers, which have been on hold since the May FOMC blackout. They will be back out and about starting next week. So another big week for E-minis moving higher, getting north of 5150 and closing out today up over 1% ahead of next week's earnings continuing, as well as Fed speakers back out and about after the May FOMC blackout.